I'm at Five Alban Road, Kingston, Jamaica. And I'm here to see Dr. Alexis and to talk to Dr. Alexis. I have some questions to ask you. Come, follow me. answer some of our burning questions about women over 40. Hey there beautiful souls! Welcome to today's video. Have you ever felt like you're running on empty? Especially after hitting that big 4-0? <laughs> Well, you're not alone. And today we're going to talk about something really important, self-love. It's not just a buzzword. It's the foundation for your health and happiness. My name is Claudette, and with the help of our friend, Dr. Shane Alexis in Kingston, Jamaica, and Colleen, we're exploring why women over 40 need to embrace self-love and how it can change your life. First, let's talk about the changes you go through after 40. Your body start to do some interesting things, don't they? Hormones decide to go on a roller coaster ride. Your metabolism might slow down. And suddenly, you are dealing with new aches and pains you never had before. But here's the thing, these changes are normal and natural. Now, let's not forget about your mental health. Let's hear what Dr. Shane had to say on this, specifically how self-worth plays into low self-esteem and how that impacts women's self-love and their health. Concept, uh... Um, explore with them and you know try to get them to a point where they start to see um, what that self worth means. And just very quickly, it just means you know that you see a value in your life. You see where you can make a contribution, where you are making a contribution, where you have made a contribution. And that may be very small, but still significant. Everything is relative. So to someone who has. Um, you know, a quarter pound of rice and a small tin of mackerel, sharing that with someone is a tremendous sacrifice um, relative to someone who's very wealthy and can give someone a case of mackerel and a hundred pounds of rice. So everyone makes a contribution and is making a contribution. It's just to um, uncover it for the person to see what they're doing in their life, their community, um, their own families recognize that if they're not well, they can't take care of others or help others. The doctor is spot on when he says that your background and life experience affect your self-worth and mental health. Did you know that women over 40 are at a higher risk for depression and anxiety? It's true, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. Your emotional well-being plays a huge role in your overall quality of life and mental health. That's why it's so important to take care of your mind as well as your body. Speaking of bodies, let's talk about how self-love affects your physical health. DR. Shane also spoke on this, explaining how assessing his patient's self-worth is part of his medical-slash-treatment plan. Coming in for a checkup, sometimes there's nothing physically wrong, it's really more emotional, or it's a combination of one or the other. Um, family histories are important to remember, so... Um, women who might see this video have to start thinking about what, what, what things run in their family, uh, their mother, their aunts, their grandparents sometimes, whether that's diabetes, hypertension, uh, some people talk about nerves, some of there's anxiety, depression, things like that. Um, depending on where you come from, in Jamaica you might call it something different. So uptown they call it anxiety and depression. But um, in, in rural Jamaica, they call it nerves and the nervous. So it just depends on what you're familiar with, but the issues are universal. And, um, you know, just coming in, if you don't know your parents, if you didn't have a chance to meet them or understand uh, what your health history is, we just start from, from where we are and move forward. So in other words, you come and talk about it, what you're experiencing, what you've observed, and then we try to make a management plan around you 
and at a pace that you can manage. It's nice to do everything you want. Ladies, you can't skip those checkups either. Shane mentioned. Regular mammograms, pap smears, and other screenings are acts of self-love. They help your medical team catch any issues early and stay on top of your health. As you age, your nutritional needs change. You might need more calcium and vitamin D to keep your bones strong. Protein becomes even more important to maintain muscle mass. And don't forget about those omega-3s for heart and brain health. Exercise is crucial too, but it doesn't have to mean running marathons. How about trying some low-impact exercises like swimming or yoga? Or maybe a dance class to keep things fun and social? The key is finding something you enjoy and can stick with. Now, let's shift gears and talk more specifically about mental health. Have you ever tried mindfulness or meditation? These practices can work wonders for reducing stress and improving mental clarity. Even just five minutes a day can make a big difference. What about hobbies? When was the last time you did something just for fun? Maybe it's time to dust off that old guitar or try your hand at painting. Engaging in activities you enjoy boosts your mental health and gives you a sense of accomplishment. And let's not forget about your support networks. Having good friends and family to lean on is so important. Addressed Claire, her voice steady but kind. Claire, I've always cherished our friendship, but I need support. Sometimes, that everyone finds themselves hope, in challenging situations doubt. and needs our to ask for help. Hasn't been easy, and perhaps it's shaped us in ways difficult for you to Im It's an act of self-love to recognize when you can't do it all alone. But, sometimes there are friends in that support network who can be less than supportive. You need to say clearly when they are not being and remove yourself if necessary. That too is self-love. Be sure to check out our other video on toxic friends and setting boundaries. That's a nice segue to what we need to discuss next, you're about emotional well-being. Setting boundaries is a big part of self-love. It's okay to say no to things that drain your energy or make you uncomfortable. Your time and energy are precious, so use them wisely. Self-care routines can do wonders for your emotional health. Maybe it's taking a relaxing bath at the end of the day. Or reading a good self-help book with a cup of tea. Find what makes you feel good and make time for it regularly. Positive self-talk is another powerful tool. Instead of criticizing yourselves, let's practice kindness. When you look in the mirror, try saying something nice about yourself. It might feel awkward at first, but it gets easier with practice. So, how can you start embracing self-love and boosting your self-esteem in your daily lives? One great way is to start journaling. Write down your thoughts, feelings, and things that you're grateful for. It's a wonderful way to process emotions and track your personal growth. You could also try some self-love challenges. Learn to love your natural self. Maybe it's giving yourself one compliment every day. Or doing one small thing each week that brings you joy. These little steps can add up to big changes over time. And let's not forget about continuous learning. There are so many great books and podcasts about self-love, improving low self-esteem and boosting your self-improvement activities to increase your personal growth. Keep feeding your minds with positive, empowering content. Embracing self-love isn't selfish. It's necessary. It's the foundation for your health and happiness, especially after 40. It's the foundation. Foundation. Start small. Be patient with yourself and watch how your life transforms. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with a friend who might need to hear this message and keep on taking care of yourselves. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, take care and love yourselves fiercely.